This video is sponsored by Blinkist, an app that summarizes non-fiction books that you can get the main ideas in just a 15 minute bite-sized chunk so that you can take these incredible books and learn everything you need to know in just 15 minutes. First link in the description will give you seven day free trial for only the first 100 people. Go click that link. You and I both know that the world that we're living in is changing at a ridiculous pace, especially technology. Now, although we're all out here trying to upgrade our operating system or upgrade our phone, it's leading us to forget to upgrade our own human operating system. So in this video, I want to share with you a brand new technique that you won't have heard of before, at least applied in this kind of a context, on how I upgrade my own personal operating system regularly and how I can learn very very quickly. This is going to be the technique that you can also use to overcome procrastination, if that's a problem for you, or at least greatly reduce it, and it's also going to help you just be in a better mood on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's get into it. Now if you don't know my story, I used to procrastinate really badly. For me, a normal day would look like getting home and spending five, six, seven hours on CSGO, a video game. And then I would start to promise myself things. And I said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start meditating. I'm going to start making all of these changes. And by the way, I said meditating, not medicating just then. But all of these changes and all of these promises I started to make for myself, when I wouldn't keep them, it damaged me at a deep level. I lost trust in myself and I lost respect in myself. But then after a lot of hard work and getting lucky with some mentors and some programs and stuff like that, I started to overcome procrastination. But for the first few months, although it felt like I was doing well, I wasn't actually doing well. You see, what was happening was I was doing lots of stuff, I was trying lots of different things, and I felt like I was busy all the time. But in reality, I wasn't actually making progress. And although it felt like I was learning, I actually wasn't learning at all. And that started to shift when I started hearing about a guy called Eckhart Tolle. Now, he's a 70-year-old man and he was born in Germany and grew up in Canada. And he got famous for his teachings about the present moment and his book, The Power of Now. One of the things he said was, In today's rush, we all think too much, seek too much, want too much, and forget about the joy of just being. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. How can this spiritual mindfulness stuff help me learn quicker and reduce my procrastination and get me in a better mood? Well, let me reassure you that it really, really can. I'm gonna show you three practical down-to-earth techniques that you can start applying today to help you learn new skills better, which is gonna allow you not just to keep up with the changing world, but to thrive in it and really feel like you're at home. Have you ever gone through a book or you've read something and then after reading it, you realized that you didn't actually internalize what was said? I used to do this all the time. I thought I was doing great because I was reading these books. I would get to the last page, I would finish it, I'd say, great, I've done it. But then what would happen is someone afterwards would ask me, what were your five key takeaways from that book? And I wouldn't be able to answer them. See, what was happening was I felt like I was making progress, but in reality, I wasn't learning anything whatsoever. And maybe you're doing this right now with the YouTube video. Maybe by the end of the video, you're barely going to remember what I'm saying. But the way to overcome that is to get yourself in the present moment. And again, this isn't spiritual stuff. I've tried all of these different productivity techniques, and this is by far one of the most effective. What that means is that you don't think about the past, you don't think about the present, you don't have all of these different thoughts going on in your mind, you quieten them, take a big deep breath, and then consume that content as if there was nothing else on your mind.
By quietening these thoughts down, you're able to focus so much deeper on the words in front of you. There's been times I'm reading a book, I could read the same page twice and I wouldn't remember what was said because the thoughts that were going on in my mind were just crazy going on about what I was going to do tomorrow, what I was going to eat later in that day, what happened yesterday, what my thoughts were about all of these different things. If you quieten them, learn to focus on the thing that you're consuming, the amount of retention that you'll get from that piece of content will be absolutely insane. This will literally increase the, the, the speed of your learning by double or triple or even quadruple. Compare not learning anything and having to read a page twice to getting deep into the present moment, soaking up each word I'm saying or each line you're reading in a book with your full focus, you can consume a ridiculous amount. The second thing that Eckhart Tolle taught me was mood regulation. You see, it's been scientifically proven that you're gonna be able to learn quicker if you're in a better mood. And it makes a lot of sense. Like, have you ever done something that you don't enjoy doing? Reading a book about something you just don't care about. You're not gonna learn much about it. It's why it's so difficult to revise for exams that you don't care about. do enjoy it on the other hand, you're in good mood, then you're going to be able to soak up that information like a sponge because your brain is enjoying it. Not only that, but you're also going to be able to reduce procrastination. You see, most people think that procrastination is a time management problem, but one of the things I teach in my program is that procrastination is a mood regulation problem. And this makes a lot of sense. The reason you procrastinate is because when you think of the activity that you're, you're trying to do, it invokes you know, negative emotions, it invokes pain. So to avoid that pain, you go and you distract yourself with YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever the case may be. If you can learn to manage your mood so that you don't feel pain about that task and you manage your mood so, that, mood so that when you're learning something, you're enjoying it, you're going to be able to learn more, you're going to be able to stop procrastinating and you're going to be able to work for a longer period of time. All of these are great things and essential if you want to keep up with the changing pace and really upgrade your human operating system. Now, how do you do this? Well, I've tried a lot of different things from drugs to mental techniques and the one that I found to be the most effective is gratefulness and again this sounds cheesy it sounds people say it again and again and again but it really works if you force your brain to go towards places that it's grateful for the emotions that come out of that will be positive ones See, the way our emotions work is they're caused by our thoughts. We have the environment, we think about the environment, and that changes our emotions. So if we can change our thoughts, we're gonna be able to change our emotions. And the most effective way to change our thoughts is to direct those thoughts towards things that you're deeply grateful for. And just like that, by forcing yourself to think about something you're grateful for, the emotions that come out of that are gonna be positive ones, which, like I said, reduces procrastination, helps you work longer, and it allows you to learn far quicker. Eckhart Tolle also taught me that multitasking was bad. Now I'm not going to spend too long on this because you probably already know this, so I'm just going to leave this in the video as a reminder to stop multitasking. But whilst I'm on the topic of multitasking, I wanted to show you a quick application that I found that really helped me learn quicker and take my learning to the next level. If you're anything like me, you probably want to learn the most in the shortest amount of time. And you've probably heard these thousands of personal development and business book recommendations, but you just don't have the time to read every single one. So a few months ago, I started using an app called Blinkist. What they do is they take these personal development and business and non-fiction books and they summarize them so that you can get the key takeaways in just 15 minutes, which means instead of reading a book once a month, you're able to read a book every single day. Now, the reason I like Blinkist is I'm able to download these books and listen to them or read them in a very easy to digest summary. I'm able to get 80% of the information in just 20% of the time. There's currently over 8 million people using Blinkist. And the reason I like it, and there's the application, is because they've got thousands of different books from personal development to business, but there's a main focus about you improving your life. What I recommend you do is you click the first link in the description, sign up for a free trial, and go ahead and listen to The Power of Now book, which is the book by Eckhart. Totally. There you're going to be able to get all of the key understandings from the book through Blinkist. Now, if you click the first link in the description, the first 100 people to do that will get a seven day free trial, which means you're going to be able to listen to that book as well as the thousands of others completely free of charge. And if you decide to stick around, there's also a 25% discount. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.